Let's play some Sentinels. Oh, Pickle fans, come on. Oh, you've been quoted out of context. You must be a famous person now. I am a famous person now. But we're going to win. Unless the environment kills us. See, I could have waited we and We have picked... damage, Dread Warlord boss! I did not think that would work out, but it did. Well done, team. Woo! Hello, everyone out there in Chatland. It's Tuesday. It's seven-ish, so that must mean it is time to welcome you to Sentinels Live. Uh, before we get into our usual preamble, I did just want to apologize. Um, I am once again streaming from home. I believe I have found a good set of settings that are going to keep it from dying <laughs> or from having any sorts of issues. But as a result, it is somewhat lower bandwidth, lower resolution, um, so it might be a little fuzzy. But at least you'll get to hear us and see us play the game, and it should be fun. Let me know if all the sound and audio and everything... Oh, uh-oh, blue screen of Sentinels. Why is it doing that? <laughs> all right, hang on, everybody. Let me see what I'm... See, let me see what's going on. Can you hear us? All right, how about now? Did that fix it? I think something got scaled funky. So, yes. Funky I'll... scale. Funky scale Medina. We, they can hear us, so there's that. There we'll we just go. have the actual radio version of Sentinels Live. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all our ships at sea. All right, the video feed is, is up again. Fantastic. All right, so that means I can pause this and go back to my preamble. So yeah, thanks for joining us around the digital tabletop where we play Sentinels of the Multiverse. The goal of these streams, of course, is to have some fun while showing you how to play the game, as well as covering strategies that could help you win. Candelabra does believe in civil rights for everyone and being as inclusive as possible, so comments or activity that actively work against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. If you enjoy the show, please do like, share, follow, and subscribe, and be sure to check out the other shows here at twitch.tv slash Handelabra Games. we got Dolphins Dive, which is Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern, and then we have Tales from the Archive on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern, and it's been coming into a little bit of a tradition that I stream One Deck Dungeon on Wednesdays. A couple weeks ago, I did it on at 1 o'clock. Last week, I did it at 2 o'clock. This week, I think it'll probably be the same. Probably about 2 o'clock, I'll be doing some One Deck Dungeon tomorrow, um, and there's some news in the One Deck dungeon front what is the news today john uh yeah so the big news is that it is coming to early access one week from today uh, february 27th seven days from right now you will be able to play one deck dungeon on steam in early access now if you've never played in early access before um what that means is that you can buy the game and you can play the game uh, but it's not done. It's kind of like a big protracted public beta in a lot of ways, even though they don't really call it a public beta. Um, and we've done a public beta before, like when we did the multiplayer, you could join the public beta. Um, but this is a whole different thing. It's a specific Steam thing. Um, but you get to sort of see how the game is coming along and participate. You can even help us by reporting bugs and giving us feedback. Um, it's a really cool system. I'm trying to get the link here. One deck dungeon you guys can head over to steam and put it on your wish list and that will let you know um when it is available to buy so let me grab that link here copy and paste boom yep janagro asks what platforms will one deck dungeon be on uh it's launching on steam and it will be on steam through early access and then it will be coming to ios and android tablets yes the question that usually follows that up is, will it be on phones? And the, the answer to that is a resounding maybe. Um, right now, <laughs> we are, we're very focused on the UIs that we know we can hit really well. Uh, if you know how we did Sentinels, you know that it took us two and, uh, two and a half years? A year and a half. About two years. Yeah, it was about two years. It was like a year and three quarters <laughs> to get it onto phone because there was such a lot to sort of work out and figure out in terms of how to make the UI actually work. So uh, we're not ruling out a phone UI, but it's not on our radar as yet. Right now we're focused on getting the Steam version done, getting the tablet versions done. Um, we expect the early access phase to last at least a couple of months. Um, and yeah, 
we think it's a lot of fun and we think you will think so too yeah so it'll be fif- 15 dollars in early access um uh, since the preview and you're getting it early uh and then at launch it will be ten dollars yeah precisely all right so yeah i think that's all the show notes stuff uh, i'm jeremy you can follow me on twitter at mr j handle that's m-r-j-h-a-n-d-e-l joining me as always is john you can find john tweeting about video game stuff and development stuff and traveling and checking in on yelp places at migrant p <laughs> m-i-g-r-a-n-t-p on twitter they don't have yelp in a lot of countries unfortunately ah and you can always follow the company at Handelabra on Twitter, Facebook, or the YouTubes. Uh, right. As we are the developers, you can usually see some insight into the process and maybe see stuff before anyone else. We're getting very close to being able to start doing some previews of some new content. Not this week. Probably not next week, but maybe in a couple weeks we'll be able to start showing off some of the Mini Pack 4 stuff. Um, obviously, Celestial Tribunal we've been working on for a while, and that is almost ready. It's still very twitchy with certain heroes because um i don't know how many of you out there know how celestial tribunal works but there's a there's a card in that which has you pull a hero a hero character card from the box quote unquote and there's some some trickiness going on with that so we're still working on that (laughs) not today not tomorrow but someday exactly yeah that stuff is in alpha testing but not in beta testing uh and then yeah and then so uh 17th lord says please also mean stunt mark and benchman stunt man and benchmark (laughs) stunt mark (laughs) Stunt Mark and Benchman! Um, Yes, uh, there will be um, some previews of those coming on because those are also getting into alpha testing at this point. Um, But you'll have to stay tuned uh, to all of our things to find out when we're going to be previewing all that fun stuff. But it will be coming sooner rather than later. We don't want to steal Christopher's thunder, so... Exactly. Um, all right, uh, da, da, da. the game covers the tutorial that covers the basics. We always do our best to explain exactly what we're doing, when we do it, and why. And depending on how long it takes to win or lose, we usually play at least a couple of games. Sentinels is currently available for iOS, Android, as well as PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam, and always in good old analog cardboard and ink. Check out sentinelsdigital.com for more info. All right, so now I can close that window because I don't need that anymore, and I can bring up my Sentinels. Yeah, it's not now on Kickstarter. There we go. So shiny. Uh, oh, I did want to mention we had a really big sale. Uh, the Lunar Lunacy Sale happened over this past weekend, uh, which means there's several thousand new players out there. So if you encounter any newbies in multiplayer, show them what a welcoming place the multiverse can be. All right. Online multiplayer, new game. All right. I have put zero oh, sweet. The best book. That's a really rare title. There's only like six issues. Nice. So getting that for your multiplayer game is... A treat. And it will be the best, best book. Well, then I have to pick guys. Oh, the best book ever. All right, if you're going to do guys, I'm going to grab um, uh, his buddy. Scala. Uh, and who should we fight and what should we thing? I'll pick the environment. I don't know. I was just excited about the title. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what we played last week. I, don't feel, I feel like we haven't played Doc Thorath in a while. We'll do some Doc Thorath. I was just listening. I finally, I'm all caught up on the uh, letters pages, just in time for a new one to come out today. And I was interested in all of the cool stuff, information that came out in like the cosmic settings and the time travel settings and all the other fun well, stuff. Well, we could do misinformation if we wanted, thematically. Yeah, I, I'm okay with that. We don't play her very often for reasons that will become obvious. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we can give that a shot. Uh, Take Walker's wondering about the room names in multiplayer. Yeah, they're based on um, the comic book series that show up in the flavor text, and the range of numbers is the real range of numbers of the comic books. Uh, and so you're pretty likely to get um, Freedom 5 and you know the, the comic books that have hundreds and hundreds of issues, but uh, all the different ones that are not one-shots are in there. So. And the ones that you can get depend on what content you have. So if you don't have Mini Pack 3, you're not going to get to see the best book because It's Only Guys has that. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe, well, yeah, I guess Wager Master would be probably the other deck that has that. <laughs> there might be in some other book. But basically, if that book shows up in any expansion pack, you have to have that expansion pack gotcha. to, uh, to see it. All right, well, 
I guess I should pick another hero. I haven't played Seth back too much lately. Let's go with that. All right, so we got misinformation at Doc Thorath. This is a really weird thing, <laughs> but that's okay. That's what the multiverse is all about. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever played misinformation in Doc Thorath. This would be interesting. Hmm, <clears throat> what's that? Oh, don't mind me. I'm here to help you, heroes. Welcome. It's far time for you to stand down. Thank you kindly. That was my. Terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible Scottish accent. All right. So for a refresher, since we don't play misinformation very, off, very often, she starts off as a demure office worker. She has no HP because why would she? She's not a villain. She's just a demure office worker. At the start of the game, misinformation enters play demure office worker side up. Cards are revealed from the top of the villain deck until one diversion card is revealed and put into play. Other revealed cards are shuffled back into the villain deck. At the start of the villain turn, if there are three or more clue cards in play, misinformation flips. At the end of the villain turn, X hero ongoing or equipment cards are destroyed, where X is the number of diversion cards in play. And then when she flips, she becomes the revealed saboteur. At the start of the villain turn, a clue card is destroyed. If this occurs, each hero target deals itself to sonic damage. The first time a hero target deals itself... <clears throat> Excuse me. First time a hero target deals damage to misinformation each turn, she deals that target to psychic damage. At the end of the villain turn, misinformation deals the two hero targets with the lowest HP to psychic damage each. All right, so let's see what everybody started off with. Knife has got a battlefield experience, incidental contact, another incidental contact, and a wrecking uppercut. Guys has got let me see that say cheese. Uh, yeah, I'm that guy. Extreme. Scholar, it's got alchemical redirection, bring what you need, mortal form to energy, proverbs and axioms. And setback has got a couple of looking ups, a turn of events, and a whoops, sorry. Yeah, sorry, with Seamus Butler, no webcams this week. I'm streaming from home, and um, in order to do that and not have it, like, crap out, we can't do more things than the minimum, unfortunately. So you don't get to see our smiling mugs, but you do get to hear our goofiness. Uh, Darren2500 asked... How is Sentinels of the Ninth coming along? Uh, it is not. I'm not sure why you think it is, but we have never said that we are working on it. <laughs> yeah, we never. We, were, we we would like to make expansions for Bottom of the Ninth in digital, but we have not announced anything about anything there. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, folks. Bottom of the Ninth did not perform to our expectations so far, so we're sort of letting it earn back its budget for a little while before we put any more money into it. Basically, is the long and the short of that. It's still selling, and in fact, it sold really well um, over the weekend when it was on sale. But yeah, it's just it, if if it had sold a million copies and we had plenty of cash to do things, we would be doing that. But instead, we did a Kickstarter for Game Three, and we've been doing that. All right, so the old lady in the street comes out, and she's going to deal some damage. Yeah, you'll just have to imagine John and I drinking our bourbons. John decided he was <laughs> sick of the um, sweet drinks in his travels, and he managed to find himself some scotch. Yeah, so I have a Dewar's White Label. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. All right, so talk to me about strategy. How do we... Is it good, bad, indifferent for me to... What is happening to my UI here? Um, to... Um, what, why are these cards getting stuck? Okay, so I can't play Battlefield Experience. Oh, well, I guess I'm playing Incidental Contact. Hang on a second. Something got screwy here. Let's go back to play a card. Hopefully it'll reset. Yes, it did. Okay, good. For some reason, I picked up a card and it got stuck, and then I couldn't unselect okay. it. Okay. All right. Yeah, so we want to get her to get three or more clue cards in play. That's the main thing. So and discarding... she'll often blow up our stuff. So, so discarding is probably not great. doesn't matter. It has no effect. Right, and it's clues we want to get out, not I mean, diversions. Discarding can be get bad because of insider knowledge. Move a diversion card from the villain trash into play. Mm. But it's like not the end of the world. All right, I'm just going to get out my battlefield experience and hit that old lady in the street with my main power here. Sure. The last few minutes didn't like record for some contact. reason. 
I think Take Walker was talking about their own stream. Ah. Rawr, 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 rawr. Let's see. Yeah, it's my least favorite kind of weather today, where it's like a yeah, little so bit cool, but like really humid. If we kill the old lady, oh, I've been disconnected. Let's see uh -oh. if I rejoin here. Uh, if we kill the old lady in the street, it's just going to be revived by insider knowledge. So there's not really much point to doing that. Um, so I'm just okay. going to draw cards. I mean, I'll punch it. We can get it low so we can kill it mm -hmm. uh, more easily when we have the chance. But. All right, Scholar comes up. Do I want? Yeah, hmm. I think I'm just gonna bring what I need. Yep, yeah, just draw a bunch of cards. And just, yeah, stock up. All right, what did I get? A Truth Seeker, a Mortal Form, which I've got another one, and I get out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep Truth Seeker and get out of the way. Ooh, and don't dismiss anything. Siren. Set back. Siren? Si Siren? I'm just going to skip. Says, it's nice that the humidity is up here. It's been snowy and dry. It makes sleeping really difficult. See, I much prefer it to be a little bit dry. The humidity makes me like stick to my sheets and then I can't sleep. There's something we can shoot at. Alright, the Therathian military comes out. Diversionary tactics. So this is going to bring out some more diversions. Diplomatic, quote unquote, envoy. Hey, a clue. But a not great clue. All right. How about setback so he doesn't hurt ever the people? Cool. <laughs> And she's going to destroy two, divert two cards. So I don't need looking up. I have another copy that I can probably just play. Um, and then those are cards, so you can choose. Yeah, we we can do battlefield experience because I get to do things when that happens. All right, so I get a flawless execution. Um, yeah, she's already done her thing this turn. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna skip. <laughs> one plus two plus one plus one. One plus one plus two plus one. Oh, communism was just a red herring! <laughs> Man, I gotta watch that again. That's one of those ones, like, every couple years I get a yen to, to watch Clue again. Alright, I think... Yeah, I'll put out my Flawless Execution... That's reduced. Yeah, so should I hit the Envoy here? Just to start getting it down? Or should I hit the military? What are you thinking? Sure. Sure to either... Oh, one. I mean, the, the military will actually stay down if we kill it. So why don't we hit that? All right.
Oh, is there a DVD that randomizes the that randomizes the ending? That's mm. pretty funny. Yeah, the one that I've seen is the VHS one that was like, you know, they they play one ending they're like, or is that how it happened? Or it could have happened like this, and then they do the whole second ending, and they're like, but well, actually, what really happened is this, and then they play the third ending. Yeah, I heard that that is the case. Yeah, in the theaters, they, they release different endings at different theaters. So different people had different experiences. I can barely hear you, Jeremy, by the way. Okay. Yeah, you've been roboting a bit, too. Or maybe I can't hear you at all. Oh, you can't hear me at all now, huh? Uh, there you are, but it's like really gravelly and far away. Yeah, it's weird. I can hear you fine. Hey, chat, can you hear me okay? And can oh, you hear John okay? It's a one-way pipe, I guess. One-way pipe. I don't believe they, they advertised that. I think it was just a surprise. 17th Lord. <clears throat> they can hear both of us. So it's really just I can't talk to John. I mean, I can hear you, but sometimes you just disappear. Oh, Jeremy's less loud. I can talk saying. louder. That's because I'm just using the mic that's in my computer. <clears throat> yeah, the temperature in my basement is very weird. It's a little cold, but I'm also sweaty because it's humid. So, all right. So let's see. Where is she at? She's got two diversions, so she's going to kill two of our ongoings, maybe a third. Hmm. Yeah, I think in this case I'm just going to Truth Seeker, and I'm going to hit the military. <laughs> now we get the stream where Jeremy's free and John gets to scream into the void. Why did you do that? Yes, I stopped talking. Okay. Do you want me to say something? I don't know. I just... Can you not hear me still? I can hear you, but you sound really terrible. Okay. You sound fine, so feel free to have commentary. All right. I am ready to destroy a card. Uh, we are going to be destroying three, three two... Just two? Yeah. Uh, so, I want to keep looking up, so pick one of yours. Okay. Um, yeah, this is fine. Take a little damage. There's a third clue, by the way, so next turn she's yep. going to flip. Definitely both, everybody. Oh. Yeah, see, this is why I avoid... I'm rejoining, apparently. Yeah. This is why I avoid streaming from home whenever I can, but today it is my eldest's 12th birthday, and so I needed to be home for dinner. For some reason, for the last eight to ten months, every important everything has fallen on a Tuesday. <laughs> like, all right, so we can kill those uh, diversions if you want now. Uh, okay. If there's, yeah, one melee and one energy, but I don't have my thing. Uh. 
sure. Make use of your flawless execution. Indeed. We'll go after the other one. <laughs> Take Walker. <laughs> uh, that's good. Yeah, but so like literally, I think Christmas was on a Tuesday, New Year's is on a Tuesday. Um, Halloween was on a Tuesday. What were the other things? I know there was literally like a dozen important to semi-important things that happened over the last six months that were all on Tuesdays, which is why I ended up miss missing stuff. Definitely hang on to that offensive transmutation for when she flips. It will be good. Indeed. All right, so... Yeah, I mean, I got... Well, I don't know if I want to do that yet. Yeah, this is the problem with a hero that or a villain that I don't play very often. I don't actually know her that well, so I'm constantly rereading all of her cards. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I could just get my mortal form out and just heal for one. But I'm going to do better if I just use Truth Seeker. Yeah, but I'll be set up, because she's... She'll flip before she destroys any ongoings, right? Uh... She flips, and then that text isn't there anymore. Right, yeah, so that's yes. what I mean. Like, the flip will happen before she would do that. Alright, so I'll do that, and then this. She can still play cards that destroy her ongoing cards. Marty is Thursday? I didn't know that. I am not in... Uh, Take Walker is completely wrong. In a language squad. Oh, no. Marty is Tuesday. Oh, Marty is Tuesday. That's why it is Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras means Tuesday Fat. Oh. You learn something new every day. Hey, Railroad Headquarters. Uh, Thursday is Vonderdee. Lundy is, I believe, Mon Monday, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, so normally I would get rid of what doesn't kill you here, but I think getting rid of insider knowledge is going to be better first. So Okay. Yeah, so actually this reminds me, it was a couple of weeks ago we were talking about the fact that Krista would probably tear it up in a misinformation cosplay, and we were talking about, I mentioned it to her after the stream that week, that, like, I think she would actually kill any one of the misinformations. Like, she could do, you know, the, um... Oh, yes, I completed this task already. Um, she could do this one. She could do the Demir Office Worker. She could do, like, the crazy, like, face-covered one from Villains. All right. She is now a target. But she hits back whenever you hit her. Is it like the first time or whenever? Uh, it says on her card, I think it's the first time. Yeah. I'm yeah, the sure. first time. Okay. It's two damage, but she has a plus one right now. Which we'll be getting rid of soon. Yeah, actually, yeah, Take Walker, I was literally just thinking that the flip side card art where she's like, 
you can see that she's got the villainous stuff underneath, but she's still got the demure office worker stuff sort of on top. Um, am I going to heal? I can. How many targets are out there? One, two. I highly recommend you play offensive transmutation on your turn. Yeah. So in that case, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to truth, get rid of truth seeker. I'm going to keep my other thing just so we can start hopefully piling on the damage. I want to play several things here. I don't have anything boosting my damage right now. Incidental contact. You have a card that will boost your damage. I know, that's why I'm trying to decide, because if I only get to play one, I could get the kinetic neutralizer out. And that's going to hit her more, which is good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. The, the Freedom Fighters will kill the Diversion, so don't worry about that. Okay. Alright. Guys, there's lots of cards. Jesse C says, sorry, JCC says, I wonder at Amanita ditching the glasses in her villain form, does she just wear them for reading? I mean, she's definitely wearing something over her eyes in her villain form. Yeah, exactly. There's lenses in the mask. There it is. 17th Lord knows what's up. Let's go with Super Ultra, then I can... Make her hit herself a lot. Prescription domino masks. <laughs> I'll see if I can get back a best card ever. Yeah, I didn't get what I was looking for. I want my best card ever back. All right, so we've already talked about what I'm going to do here. Ah! Except I did the wrong what? thing! Go ahead, what's your line? What did you just do? <laughs> I didn't realize I, was, I wasn't playing attention... Playing attention? I wasn't paying attention. I have to go back to start of turn. That was the which card do you want to discard for the thing? I thought it was my play card. You All definitely right. weren't playing attention. I was not playing attention. That is very true. All right. So what do I want to get rid of? No, I don't want to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of that. Are you going to play alchemical redirection? Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I guess probably not. That's fine. All right, so that's better. So, where'd it go? Offensive transmutation. And we'll hit her. Oh, you can try and hit me back? No, you can't. Nope. All right, and yeah, I guess I just got to do one and then maybe get myself set up for next turn to do some more things. Sentinels of the Nerdiverse. Guys can play a card. Let's play <laughs> best card ever again. Classic Jeremy, take a drink. Woo! I used to wear glasses, and then 
in a very super villainy way, I had lasers shot into my eyes, and now I don't need to wear them anymore. <laughs> All I want is a Jeremy with frickin' laser beam shot into his eyes. I'm gonna discard the top card of every deck. Maybe we'll get a couple hit points. I got one. And... I'm gonna play the top card of my deck by using Setback's power. Oh, I can't, because he's an isolated hero. All right, I'll just use my own power. Looking for a retcon, but I haven't picked one up yet. All right, so set back here. I can get rid of whoops. I can use whoops, sorry, and I don't have to destroy anything because set back is isolated. And then I can get rid of what doesn't kill you. So since it is new Marvel movie week, normally I would be talking about how great Black Panther is, but I haven't had a chance to go see it yet. I'm dying to, but it's, it's just, excellent. I, 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 I've it. heard it is excellent, and I cannot wait to go see it. I wanted to see it on Friday, but we were busy. Then Lisa's family was in town on Saturday. I was going to maybe go Sunday, but then I was tired from having her family in town all weekend. And then last night wasn't going to work. And tonight's streaming night. So maybe like tomorrow night I'll sneak out like late in the evening to go see it or something. I just ah, like it's so hard avoiding spoilers and like avoiding all of the YouTube videos from all the people that I like. So I'm very excited to see it. I would have seen it Thursday night, but I instead went to go see Galactic Empire, mm. which is a heavy metal band that plays Star Wars music and is amazing. It's actually the second time I've seen them. And I'm trying to think of what I want to do. If we we can destroy four non-character hero cards to get rid of Threat to the President, which might be a good idea, because Guys has like a whole bunch that he can do that with, so maybe I'll just play another card so Guys can uh, destroy it. I guess there's no equipment. Is there an equipment around? No. I'll just copy... Uh, For liberty, truth, and Justin. Something. Copy Justin. And I guess liberty and truth if you're feeling like it. The Rathians and the Freedom Fighters. Thank Love that Rebel Headquarters. Yes, good times. And then the damage to guys will go to misinformation. Actually, back to the side military, I guess. Ah, yeah, here's the rub. Her thing makes us deal ourselves damage. That's okay. Guys' damage still gets redirected. She is a saboteur! She has been revealed! Oh yeah, guys gets flawless execution on the threat. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yes, let's destroy cards and get rid of this thing. Uh, guys can get rid of all of his cards. And actually, Setback can get rid of Looking Up because uh, it'll hurt him a lot. Uh, I could, yeah, I could make use of Super Ultra, but I don't have a lot of cards left I want to play, so... Let's uh, just get rid of that. Not bad. Cat stuck in a tree. Yeah, 17th Lord, I think, yeah, weird sonic damage could be monologuing. It could be like she blasts something in our earpieces that we use for our communications because she's got mm. connections to the back end or something like that. That was the way that I always sort of headcanoned it. Okay. 
I mean, I do like my incidental contact, but I don't like hitting my teammates. Yeah, don't play that. Just use Amploid Combatant or something and hit misinformation a whole bunch. Like, max damage to misinformation. Yeah. One man, like, one Amplified man. Combatant will do the same amount of damage to her as Incidental Contact would. Incidental Contact is not helping in this situation. Unless you had nothing else to do. Yeah, and then we'll Primed Punch... That will do less because you. It's a power use. It's a power use, right? Okay. I mean, it's it's more overall because it'll. Yeah, and then I because I can blow it up next turn, but yeah, this is fine. We want to make use of that offensive transmutation if we can. Yep. Um. Yeah, you can hit the cat. Hit the cat. Leave the freedom fighters. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the freedom fighters. They are our friends. Because they fight for freedom. They believe in civil rights for everyone. <laughs> and in being as inclusive as possible. Except for Therathians. <laughs> Except for Therathians. Uh, wah, wah. <laughs> not, all, not all freedom fighters, hashtag. I guess they are Therathians too. But they're like the good ones. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel us swaying into territory that we might not want to be in. <laughs> All right. I guess I can copy. Yeah, I'm going to use Aya oh yeah, and copy that connect neutralizer again because that's extra bonus damage. I should have done that before. I'm going to play a card. I can play Say Cheese, or I could do Selling Out, but yeah, let's just do Say Cheese right now. And we'll keep punching this information down to 15. It's pretty good. I was very interested. I remember in the, I don't remember which episode, maybe it was the, the settings episode where they were talking about how there's like pink skin Therathians and blue skin Therathians, and there's powered ones and non powered ones, and all sorts of interesting things. Yeah. I just clicked on a card by accident. So That's fine, I'm not going to use both of them for sure, so. All they're right. not really very useful right now. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to be. Yeah, keep moving and to get out of the way is pretty good. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, there's also, I mean, like, Proverbs and Axioms would let me heal and deal damage, which would end up being about even, but then everyone would also get a card. Yeah, but we're not going to be Yeah, like, and everyone else gets hit points, too, so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, given where we're at Except right now. Except for setback. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're doing That's all right, though. Having a bit of healing is not bad. You have lots of, I would definitely play Keep Moving First, though, to get another Mortal Form. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Alright, so focusing Conduit Blade. Total Beefcake. No one to turn loose. And plug oh, uh, actually, she destroyed Isolated Hero on her turn, so setback gets a card, too. Oh, excellent! Yeah, I was just like, wait a minute, was he supposed to do a thing? All right, and we'll just go in the order here. So she's going to regain. Yeah, if I head to total beefcake, I would do the deal damage, but I don't want to do that. Ice to meet you. Someone's doing, someone's doing cold puns. <laughs> Chill. All right. So she's going to hit me back on the first one, but not on the second one, right? Yeah. So it's a net two, so that's fine. I mean, it's four. Right, it's four damage. Okay, yes. I mean, it's I traded two damage for two healing. She doesn't so I'm, heal or anything. Yeah, I'm even, but she takes four damage, so that's good. And I get to do this. For another two, so it's six. I concur, Nate Diggity Dog. 
And with between setback and the or freedom Dino fighters, Dominity. that will be the end of misinformation. Have a little karmic retribution misinformation. I mean, setback might finish it here. Yep. Easy peasy. Mac and cheesy. <laughs> Six. I counted five. One on the door, two in the chandelier, one in the lobby, and one in the telegram girl. It was one, then two, then one, then one. It was one, then one, then two, then one, then one. We did I it! She could also, uh, Krista could do this version. Of oh, Mr. yeah, she could do the psycho crazy version. <laughs> that would be an interesting cosplay to have to be stuck in all day, though, with the, um, what's it called? The straight jacket. Yeah. I, but that's the thing, like, and I said this to her, like, she she has a frame that is, could she can basically cosplay just about anything. And so, like, um, especially in the comic book world. So I think, you know, any, like, she could do knife. She could do misinformation. She could do tachyon, which she has done. She did baseball tachyon this past year at uh, Gen Con. So, I, on the other hand, had to lose fifty pounds to even pretend to do guys, <laughs> and still, <laughs> I still feel like I could have lost another ten to fifteen to make it look a little bit better. All get right. some, get some legacy muscles. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's shuffle it up. I think we did. We, so we did an Akash Buta recently. Not sure what I feel like doing. Yeah, not any of. Oh, La Capitana. I feel like I don't think we've done. We've done her as a team. I don't think we've done a, a vanilla La Capitana in a while. That's a good one. Sure. Maybe we'll look at some of the challenger advanced rules and see. So, start of the villain, turn, destroy a hero, ongoing, or equipment. That's the advanced. The challenge, at the start of the game, cards are revealed from the top of the villain deck until H, crew cards are revealed and put into play. Other revealed cards are shuffled back in the villain deck whenever she flips a crew card with the highest HP in the villain trash is moved into play. Yeah, why don't we try challenge? I don't know if we've done advanced, uh, ultimate, but I don't know that I want to do an ultimate game. Challenge is pretty hard. It's hard enough. Yeah, challenge is, yeah, challenge is definitely hard enough. All right, good. And I got Fnatic as my first one, so I will keep that. And then I think <coughs> I will do Young Legacy. I am going to eat the crew. Yeah, and the question is, it, we, we, re, we randomly got Rook City. I don't know if that is the one we want to be in. <laughs> are there two other heroes who are flying in the same pose as Legacy and Fnatic there? That would be a cool team. I don't know if there are. Uh, Mary can fly, but she doesn't fly in the same pose. Two of the Tachyons are close. They're not flying, but they're sort of like in a similar pose. No, but uh, I think Freedom 5 is, but not the other... Yeah, that's so why I said two of them are. Like, so regular Tachyon. No, but they're, they're going, tachyon. like, up and to the right. She's not doing that regular Tachyon. I guess in the uh, foil version she is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's the foil. Anyways. Uh... I'm going to go with Fugue State Purse as well. Nice. All right. How's that for order? Actually, looks we're gonna, good. We're going to do that instead. I don't want to go first. All right. So we got Challenge the Capitan at, I guess we're sticking with Rook City. Hey, we probably haven't played Rook City for quite a while. Yeah. With Fugue State Purse, Fnatic, Prime Warden Taka, and Young Legacy. Oh, this music is so good, though. <laughs> right. I support this decision. <laughs> Hi, Ninos, hand over all your valuables or get thrown overboard. All things, all truths revealed. Compiling data now. I don't know how robot to make her, because I know she's kind of in, like, a weird sort of fugue state, as it were. But she's not a robot. She's a person, so I don't know. All right. Parse opens with data mining. 
Extrasensory Awareness, Segmentation Fault, Syntactic Analysis, Fanatic has got a Chastise, End of Days, Sacrosanct Martyr, Sanctifying Strike, Haka, Prime Wardens, has got Haka of Shielding, Savage Mana, Savage Mana, and Taeha. And Young Legacy, aside from her Atomic Glaze, of course, has got Danger Sense, Lead from the Front, another Lead from the Front, and Legacy Ring. So, yeah. I'm probably going to be in favor of End of Days. Because she's going to play a whole lot of crew at yes, the start. Yes, I can see that working. Is your fire alarm going off? I don't know, did my phone make a Close noise? Close up rumbling and buzzing noises. Are you like moving your microphone maybe? Or I hear it too. It's like clothing sounds. Clothing sounds? Yeah, I was shifting around in my seat. Maybe that was it. And I think my, uh, my family are taking their bedtime showers and things. So I think that you might be hearing the... Um... The water pipe runs through here, so that might be it too. Shoot fanatic. Oh, was it this? That, is that a dog growling? No, that is my my new leather recliner, <laughs> leather, <laughs> leathering against itself. <laughs> it's like. Argh. It sounds like like a, a small dog growling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it was. That was it was me adjusting my recliner settings. <laughs> I have these new leather couches in my uh, theater room. All right, I feel like end of days is the play here. Does that work for you? Uh, absolutely. All right, so we can just not just only play one shots other yeah, than that. One shot, so. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use syntactic analysis to allow L Legacy to draw some cards that might be useful because you don't have any one shots so in your hand yet. And you didn't get any. And but I still don't, but you can put them in your hand though. So yeah, that's fine. I will draw and draw. There are no live animals in my chair. There are live animals above me on the next floor up. I have two dogs, but that, they, that is decidedly my chair. Look, I can make it happen on demand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's... Oh, what's happening here? Oh, there it goes. Okay, my for some reason my foil card wasn't showing up. It's, it's filled with badgers, this take walker. <laughs> I like it. All right, shoot like happy ten. Yep. Sorry, Maria. All right, so we're dealing with her first thing, but her challenge thing. Um. Yeah, whenever she flips the crew with the highest HP in the middle and trash and move so that'll still happen. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the only other, you know, potential positive here would be, like, if you, you did start with Savage Mana, which would let you start eating them. But if we can just wipe the board and then do yeah. that next turn, that's definitely a better choice. Uh, Haka can get the benefit of the discarding. I guess I could have given to Legacy, but oh well. Oh, the ship is a relic. The ship won't be killed by end of days. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Good call, Nate Diggity Doggity. But, yeah. We still need to shoot the ship. And we could put it under Savage Mana, probably. Okay. I will remember that for next turn. Throne of Cats, the center of power for the Handelabra Empire. Well, all the crew's gotten rid of, so that's good. Scum and villainy. 
all together now, one damage. And that's actually uh, both of those cards, so putting it into the trash, well, now it's reshuffled, so. Uh, and then she plays a bunch of them again. <laughs> oh, well. Uh... <laughs> so much for that big plan. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Now we'll have to do plan B with Savage Mana. Huh. And she's just playing a million cards. Oh, yes, yeah, Citizen says, I would have a comfy throne of pillows. My children this weekend created themselves a pillow and blanket fort up in the attic, which is very reminiscent of... Uh, uh, New, new fluffy town and uh, <laughs> Blanketsburg or whatever. Like I went up there and it was totally like I looked in and it totally looked like those shots where they're like sitting inside of it with like all of the mm. things around them. All right. Uh, we do have scum and villainy here, which I could destroy, or I could work on getting rid of Maple in the ship. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do, can't get anything under Savage Mana this turn. Right. Uh, so we might want to just, like, murder Maple first. Um, sure. Scum and Villainy is going to hurt, but I don't know what's worse. Uh, yeah. Oh, a segmentation fault. Yeah, okay. I'm going to use targeting arrow and just hit. I think we can just take out Mabel with regular damage, so I'm going to put this plus one on the time ship. Cool, yeah. And data mining does nothing. All right, so Fnatic is all the way down at 10 HP. So I think I'm going to absolve. Yeah, there are two of them that's attacking the lowest. And I will use that. Uh, do Should I use this one on Mabel? Uh, either way. Okay. I will start with Teha. Take it. Oh, Mabel's immune to melee damage. Damn it. Let's go back. Legacy will have to take out Mabel. That's fine. And I'm going to... Hit Final Breath, who is going to be killing Fnatic pretty badly. What did you do? <laughs> wah, wah, wah. All right, so how are we feeling about, like... Oh, Heroic Interception might be really good. Yeah, so, but, well, so I've got Heroic Interception, but I've also got Takedown. If we're trying to put her on pause for the moment, there might be a better time to do that. Or I could just pile on the damage with Thok. Yeah, I mean, takedown's good because she's got the ship playing extra cards. I mean, they're all good options. Yeah. I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't do Thok because we can't get rid of the time ship and Mabel. And Mabel in one turn, right, because it's coming up to the end. So, all right. So. I like Haruka's Interception with that Scum and Villainy coming up. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. And then I will take out Mabel. Oh, wait. Lou Dolphin says, Takedown will stop the ship and Mabel's plays, and then you can have Mabel destroy Takedown. Yes. But it won't stop this damage from everyone. Right. And all the other crew attacking everyone. Yeah, and Fnatic is already hurting. Oof, yes. 
Cor correct choice. Yeah, like Legacy is getting hurt, but Legacy was going to take all this damage anyways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, I feel like that was the correct choice. That Toxic Sludge made it, so. Chip. Yep, and her interception is blocking all this. All right, not too bad. So, all right. So, are we trying to set up back. two to go under Savage Mana? Yeah, because I have Teja, so I can can do that. Um, like the ship, the ship, and one <laughs> of the crew. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna play recompile. Everybody and imagine a picture of Haka sitting on a ship. That's right. I'm going to keep Segmentation Fault because if she plays one of her terrible ongoings, I want to be able to get rid of it. And play the bottom card of my deck. Oh, it's Segmentation Fault. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say... Haka, play the bottom card, probably. That's a pretty safe play. Hey, equipment. Another damage dealer. Oh, good. Between the lines, that's uh, also good for getting Savage Mana going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as long as the ship is down to three, Haka can take it out. And then anything that's at three, he can get. So Yeah. I would say probably Final Breath would be a priority. Uh, you could chastise on someone too if you wanted yeah that's like, what i was just looking at was should i chastise one of the other ones that are dealing damage yeah like battle forged is going to be going after fanatic and then we can just take him out next turn yeah let's see if i sanctify so okay so if i use my three to get the ship down to three Yeah, see, I mean, you're coming up right next, so... Yeah, I don't think you can do enough damage to let me get two, so... Yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's a power, fine. though. That's a power, too. Yeah, so that's fine. So so who do we think is our best chastise, Battleforged? Uh, Battleforged, and then Legacy can just kill Final Breath. All right, so I will chastise Battleforged, and I will absolve the ship. The most important thing is to get the ship under. So. Yeah, definitely. And then have other ongoing equipments around to shield Savage Mana from getting destroyed. Yeah, I will hit Final Breath as well. Very good, Elbow Smash. Nice. I guess, I mean, we could leave Final Breath around if Fnatic is okay taking four damage. Because Hawk would be able to take Final Breath out next time, but I'm fine with destroying it, so up to you yeah i'm just looking like if i yeah like if i take down to keep more things from happening here that could be good but i could also thock like chip and then glaze final breath hmm What's what's the sludge gonna do? Start the environment turn. Each player well, we'll may just discard. Destroy the sludge. Yeah, so we can destroy the sludge. All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna default to my default setting, and I'm going to deal some damage. So I can. We'll start with getting rid of final breath, and then I will decide where I'm gonna put this other damage. 
Battleforge is chastised, so I'm assuming we want. I should just hit Chip with this. Unless Siegebreaker. Yeah, Siegebreaker is worse, but. Um, and I think we could probably get him down low enough. Okay. Uh, Legacy has a whole bunch of duplicates if you want to discard a card. Yeah, how many do we have to do? Just one. Oh, just one? Yeah, that's fine. Oof. Ugh. Uh, Paris can destroy this, so... More crew. Kind of wishing that I had done the other thing. All right, we will eat them. Uh, yeah, so I don't need that mare. can destroy that. Get rid of that chastise now. It's gonna go away. Okay. Unless you want to deal yourself damage, but I think we can get rid of it and kill Battle Forged. Haka's not gonna be able to kill the amazing Mabel, so we can kill him kill her a different way. Okay. Uh right. I'm going to use between the lines. I mean, I, I want to say between the lines to actually have it cause Savage Mana to eat things. But I don't know if we have enough, oops, if we have enough damage otherwise. Um, we also just leave Twisting Back Alleys out because I have revealed the flaws. Hmm. Um, if we want to do that instead. Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm trying to do the math here. Like, can we get the three lowest are, well, four lowest, I guess, are Mabel and then Lapiste, Battleforge, and Siegebreaker. Can we get two of them within striking distance for Haka in the next two turns? Yes. Yeah, so if you hit one of them with Sanctifying Strike, it'll be down to six. Uh, and then your sword, it'll be down to three. Yeah. And then... Haka can elbow smash and Taiha. Mm. But he needs one of the he needs the other one to be down to six. So oh, Paris yeah. needs to do Paris needs to deal a damage. So he, she needs to use between the lines to make that happen. Uh because there's no other Right. No other thing. So we'll do that. And we'll use Haka. Then you can hit Mabel with your sword so that Legacy can finish her off. Oh yeah, and that Irreducible is going to be annoying, but... Yeah, so I'm going to do this. So yeah, okay. if you hit Battle Forged for one. Yeah, I actually probably should have hit the piece. To, oh, well. So I think it'll still be okay because I, I can elbow smash Siege Breaker and then that'll get rid of him. So yeah, hit, hit Mabel with your sword so that Legacy okay. can kill it. Because Haka can't get her. Oh, because it's melee, right?
All right, so I can elbow smash. I mean, or I could use, yeah, punish the weak would almost work, but not quite now, so. Let's elbow smash siege breaker, and then Taiha to clear them both out. If you want to do takedown, I'm never going to complain about playing takedown. <laughs> or you could also start getting set up for multiple powers. But yeah. You don't, actually, you don't have another power. I, yeah, I don't <laughs> have another power yet. So, like, I mean, I guess I could block, but eh. Yeah, takedown I have no problem with here. And then see him able. Oh, and she's going to reshuffle her deck after that turn. <laughs> How good do we do not eat hey, people? Hey, villainy blocked by takedown. Nice. We just have a little damage. Well, a lot of damage from the beast. From the lowest to the highest. <laughs> Your fortunes can change just that fast. All right. So I think we can prepare a couple again. Yeah, so I have... So, um, Fnatic, with my Brutal Censure and Absolution, I can get Lapiste down to three. Ah, uh, you can get him down to five. Oh, wait. No, if I Brutal Censure for two... Wait, does he have reduction? What, seven minus five? You just said I can get him down to five. I said you could get him down to two. You said you can get him down to three. Well, I, right, I mean, I can get him down into striking distance is what I'm saying. I can get him to the point where you can put him under savage mana. That sure. was the point I was getting at. Uh... But I also want to get Chip. I could also do the same to Chip. But I want both. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> targeting arrow. Uh, with targeting arrow, if I hit Chip with targeting arrow, he'll be at seven. And then you could hit him... With the with the Brutal Censure. No, hit him with your base power. Oh! To three. I guess no, Lapiste is more dangerous, though. Right, that was why he was my number one. Yeah, so... John did say five. Thank you, 17th Lord, for checking the tape. <laughs> we'll have to check the tape. You said you can uh, get him down to five. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm going to do more... Anyway, never mind. Yeah, I don't think targeting arrow... I don't think we can get both because there's just not enough time before that. But mm -hmm. um, what we can do is, yeah, get Lapiste. Yeah, what I'm going to do is play Critical Multiplier. And I think we can actually do it a little tricksy. So I'm going to do Segmentation Fault to discard a card. Um, yeah, there's not going to be that many more non-hero targets entering play because they're all getting under... Savage mana. So let's say Fnatic gets a plus one damage. Actually, I think Haka gets a plus one damage is better. Destroy that. All right, so now Haka can hit something that's at four. Mm. And actually, he can hit something that's at five if I play Punish the Weak first. So what you should do is hit Lapiste with Brutal Censure so he gets down to five, and then hit Chip with your base power. Okay. Because if Lapiste is at five, I can take him out. Because I have a plus one, and I'll have another plus one. And you said Chip. Yeah. I don't, why are you doing less damage? I literally just why did exactly you... what you told me to do. You said use 
I said hit chip, but like use the power that does more damage. Oh, I, I swear you said use your base power. What I heard was do hit chip with your base power. So that's what I did. All right, so hit chip with absolution is what you're saying. Uh-oh, 17th Lord is checking the tape on you again, John. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> I'm sick of getting yelled at for following instructions. Yes, he has the lowest HP. Yes, I want to put it under Savage Mana. And I can hit chip for four, which isn't quite much. <laughs> quite enough. Yes, Lou Dolphin. John is telling Jeremy to do things and then getting upset at Jeremy for doing said things. That's just what I do. That's what he do. <laughs> All right, so if you can start being immune to projectile damage and redirecting to yourself, then we should be pretty safe from La Capitan. Um, okay. Let's see. Apparently I said use your base power, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> Do what I mean. The ultimate programmer's call. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So in that, so what you're saying Second. is then I should next evolution here and then legacy ring next turn. So sure. I can be doing two things. And you can take a chip now uh, to me as well, unless you want to become immune. Uh, I guess you are the highest. So if you're immune to projectile, you will soak all the damage. Yeah, let's do that. I'm okay with that. One second. Hey, Sylvaria. <laughs> Mom and dad are fighting. Eh, believe me, this is far from our worst scuffle. Tony Taurus. Back. Hey, Tony Taurus. He's a good guy. Oh, that's certainly legacy. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Despite despite the fact that... Oh, there goes the chair again. Despite the fact that um, streaming from home is not great for the audience, it's definitely more fun to be sitting in my own theater room and knowing that I don't have to go out into the cold on the train to come back home when it's all done. So that's good. All right, she's destroying two of our things. All right, well, probably not next evolution. Yeah, uh, probably not punish the weak. We can get rid of segmentation faults. Let me see. I mean, you have another, I guess you don't have another next evolution, do you? You'd have a bunch of your other things. Uh, All right, segmentation yeah. fault, we can get rid of, that's fine. And Punish the Week is not super critical. I'd rather keep the other things there, so. It's not causing a chain reaction. Oh, and then it's plus one. Okay, critical multiplier can go then. Nobody caught my nuclear physics joke. Sorry. <laughs> you were like, it's not super critical. I said it's not causing a chain reaction. Yes, shoot Legacy. He's totally the guy. She smiles in the face of projectile damage. So I'm curious if we can actually get rid of True Shot. Um... If I put a targeting arrow, she will heal back to full. Fanatic could do four damage, and then Haka could do four damage. It wouldn't be quite enough. It's annoying. I mean, if, and then Legacy could do, could finish her off if we want. Any prep, like, do you want to get rid of two shot, or do we care that much? I guess we don't care that much because you have, can just redirect the damage back to Legacy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to targeting arrow on the Capitan. Actually, I might buffer overflow instead to protect us from badness. 
Seventeenth Lord, uh, True Shot only heals if you play cards. I'm talking about only using powers. An impossible shot. Oh, I guess she does. She heals before a card plays, before the card play takes effect. So I could actually hit her here, and then if Fnatic doesn't play a card and just hits her with Absolution, then Haka could take out both of them. How about that? Yeah, let me look. Um, yeah, I can get behind that. I don't have anything that's super critical to play. Then she's out of the picture. Right, so I will it is probably that. better off rushing like Capitan, but that's all right. We want to eat all the crew. Because they're delicious. They are delicious. And I will not play a card. I will use my power. And collect them all. Not them all. There is one in the trash. A couple, there's two in the trash. So when she is going to flip now, um, when she flips, the crew card with the highest HP in the villain trash is moved into play, which is nothing right now, so that's convenient, because it got reshuffled. Uh, she's going to heal for 5 damage, and then she's protected, and that's it. So she's just going to play a card, whatever the card is. So, Alright, so I think I may, like, I've still got two legacy rings. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to skip the Legacy Ring for the moment and just bolster allies here. Because I'm looking, let's see, her max is 75. So, like, if I take, so she'll she'll heal for 5, right? So, if I take another 3 away from her now, it's actually, she's only really technically healing for 2 from her current. She'll be at 69. And then we can just keep wailing on her. Does that seem reasonable? And then everyone will have another option? Or do you Yeah, do I, I mean, I don't think anyone needs cards. You could, like, play Danger Sense. might be more valuable. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to get the Legacy Ring out and probably a lead from the front, and then I can, you know, maybe start sure. tanking some stuff. But yeah, Danger Sense, that's fine. So we'll do that, and then we'll do this. Hey, Motivational Charge, that's nice. And Tony Torres is helping us shuffle the villain trash and reveal cards. Oh, yeah, that plays the next card, though. Uh, three projectile damage to the hero with the highest. Too bad Legacy is no longer immune to projectile damage. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's better than something that we don't know what it is, so. And yeah, sorry, Tony Torres. Sorry, bud. Your sacrifice is appreciated. Well, Legacy can be the first one. She's immune to. And I would say not Haka here. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping Fnatic will get out an Aegis of Resurrection or something soon. Or Wrath of Retribution. Yeah, something. Your cool flip side. We could discard this and play the next card, but I think it's fine. And actually, let's let Haka take this because I don't need to use a power, and you can heal us all. Okay. You can use two powers, so. Two powers are better than one. Yeah, speaking of cosplays, I don't know if anybody saw Jen's cosplay, not this past Gen Con, but the Gen Con before, where she did the split La Capitan, and it was epic. Mm -hmm. Alright, so 
when she's on this side, any damage will just get rid of one card. So there's no point in doing big amounts of damage. So uh, I'm going to just start getting a couple things more set up here. Fanatic's good at doing bits of damage. Ooh, more critical multipliers. Excellent. Yeah, like a Holy Nova would be good. Or, you know, Smite the Transgressor, do more bits of damage, or whatever. Got lots of options. Yeah, Menzer, check out our Facebook um, and look through the, the photos there. I'm sure it's up there somewhere. It would have been from Gen Con 2016, and it was really great. All right. Um, right. Okay, so let's see. I can hit for one. All right, so what is the story now? Every time she takes damage, she loses one of the cards. I just her? explained it. I know you did. I was reading the chat and t telling people to do other things. So, Yes, whenever she would take damage, she returns a card instead. So there's no point doing more than one damage, generally. Right. It's the same, doing one or a hundred. So multiple instances of small damage is more efficient. Yeah, so like, that's what I was just looking. I'm thinking that I would Sacrosanct Martyr that heals up everybody. No, sorry, excuse me, Sacrifice sure Strike. Doesn't. And then, so, Sacrifice Strike. Which is the one? Holy Nova. Right. So that deals one to that, one to the environment, and everybody gets a little bit back, and then I can use my base power for two more against her. Is that what we're yep. thinking? Yeah. All that's right. For me. Facebook? Uh, all right. Healing, healing, healing. Smite the transgressor would get rid of four cards. Yes, oh, I yeah. was saying that earlier when you weren't paying attention to anything I was saying. Right. That's fine. Chastise. And divine sacrifice. <laughs> Deal small amounts of damage. I'll play Sacred Sang Martyr. Yes, yes. I was so I had my mouse over the card that I thought I was talking about, but then I scrolled, and so my mouse ended up over a different one, and so I started reading off different card titles. That's what. All I right. Uh, do I want hit points, or do I want something else? Maybe I want some hit points. She's only going to flip back if there are no cards under this card. And she kind of doesn't do anything on this side. So I'm fine with, like, leaving her on this side for her turn with, like, one card. Mm, okay. So at this, and then we can just, like, pile onto her for our, all of our turns. Uh, so I'm going to heal up Haka here a bit and try to look for something like Tamako. Excellent. So let's see. Yeah, some motivational charge would be great. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I still really want to get out that legacy ring so that I can start using multiples, but that's okay. Next turn. Yeah, this is good. This gives us extra boost here. Get one more card out. Yeah, like I'll put targeting arrow on her next turn and it'll be crazy. Nice. So. Heal everybody up a little bit. Stave off destruction. Yeah, and then I can legacy ring next time and heal if we need it or deal a little bit of damage if we need it. I can do all the things.
Siren says, I'm having no luck finding it on the Handle Labra page unless there's a Hidden Gen Con 2016 album somewhere. Hmm. That I think there's like a blog post from yeah. it, probably. Well, let's play the game and not search the web. It's dealing damage right now. All right. I hear you typing. I am typing because it's dealing damage right now. All right, it hasn't been dealing damage for me for about a minute. All right. Boom. There we go. Oh, I definitely want to let that one damage happen. All right. Recompile would be good for critical multiplier, but I think targeting arrow is going to be what's happening here. Ooh. Someone can use a power. I think I'll have Haka use a power so he can hit two targets. I just seen Mr. Aginus tonight. He is somewhere where it is 3.30 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I like that choice. Deal some damage, and then some damage, and then some damage. Poor La Capitan has lost all her crew. She doesn't know just what to do. I'm going to get rid of this annoying racketeer as well. Sixteen says three thirty a.m. is no joke. Honestly, I'm surprised we haven't heard your forehead hit the keyboard once. <laughs> I will. I will say this outright: no compunction whatsoever. John has got probably the greatest work ethic of any other human I've ever come across. When it comes time to get something done, I have never once had him ever shirk his his duties, and that is no joke. When it comes to uh, getting stuff done or getting work accomplished or getting things done. He is the man you want in your corner. I would clone him and hire five of him <laughs> tomorrow if I could. <laughs> we discussed the cloning option. We have definitely discussed work. the yeah. cloning option. <laughs> All right. So this, I think, is time finally for my ring. So the question only is, which two do I want to use? Let's first... I want to sit up so I can see, <laughs> so I can see my cards. It sounds like you're going like, mm -hmm, but it's like a chorus of you. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it, sound, it, it can sound like uh, a group of people like conferring, like in the background. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So if I do, yeah, I feel like my two damage dealers are the ones to do here. Yeah, I would just do the damage. Yeah, so we'll deal this some damage and then heal. Take Walker. Let's first, buzzing of a thousand angry hornets, get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll atomic glaze. I will never not call this atomic glaze. <clears throat> 17th Lord says, speaking of your employees, who do you think will most likely go misinformation and try to kill you? Um, I mean, I can tell you what I think the real answer is, or I can tell you what the comical answer is. <laughs> I, I think, think Legacy could discard a card here again. Yeah, that's fine. 
I guess Paris wants to discard, but she actually doesn't have a whole lot, so. I think to be David. Yeah, so the real answer is David. <laughs> Because he's like the soft-spoken guy that we only kind of know a little bit. Like, we've only ever been in the same room with him once. Um, and he's I haven't a, actually met him. In you person. haven't ever, yeah, you haven't actually met him. We, we met him at Gen Con, but it was like briefly. It was like a touch-and-go kind of situation. The comical he's a great answer, guy. Though. He's a great guy, and he's a hard worker. Um, the, the comical answer is Jean-Marc. Because he's like the super prim and proper family man that could like snap one day and just go completely sideways. <laughs> Like, he's got his outlet, he does his music, and that's a thing, but, I don't know. To me, I You're see... going to be in trouble if anyone listened to this stream, Jeremy. <laughs> Krista, like, there is no scenario where I could see Krista snapping and going crazy. Despite the fact that I think she could play misinformation in a cosplay way perfectly, I don't <laughs> see a scenario where she could... I could potentially see Jen getting fed up and going off the deep end, but... Yeah, I think Krista, of, of everyone at the company, I think Krista is the one person I couldn't see sort of going rogue. And I'm not just saying that because she works behind me every day, and I don't want her <laughs> getting any crazy ideas. All right. Uh, how close are I think I think she's going to get another turn here. Maybe I'm going to scope out her deck and try to keep her from killing us too much. Captain's orders, that can... Yeah, I mean, that's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. It's going to make her deal three damage. So, we can keep that. Yeah, I'm looking through Facebook, and I feel like maybe we never did post those. I feel like that's odd that we wouldn't have posted those. Maybe check the Greater Than Games um, it's your Facebook. Turn. I know, I'm, I'm reading this while I'm talking. Um, maybe check the Greater Than Games uh, Facebook to see their Gen Con posts. All right, maybe I will... Do we have any boosts in play right now? No. No, all right. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like I have a way to do more than one power. Yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna... Well, let's see. She's at 39. Yeah, I mean, I think... I could... No, oh, yeah, that's not the choice. Yeah, that's what that's what I was leaning toward. I'm like looking at Divine Sacrifice. Like, is there any way to make that yeah, better? But you don't want to play Divine Sacrifice. Yeah, unless you have uh, Ages of Resurrection, maybe. I know. I, I it's like I keep looking. Like, man, why have I not gotten that card yet this game? And with no boosts, Absolution is going to be the other choice. Thanks, hey, Aegis. All right. I'm going to go with Tamako. And whack the captain. So she's going to do projectile to the highest and melee to the lowest. Uh, if you'd want a next evolution, I would guess... Yeah. Either melee or projectile would. Actually, she's. You, if you don't have. If you don't have leap in the front, then. You would have to pick projectile. Because she's going to deal melee to the lowest. So if you wanted to protect Fanatic, then you would want to next action against melee and have lead from the front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Oh, but you can't use powers. <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> do you want to do something else? Yeah, go back. Yeah, instead of that... 
Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, I feel like in that case, I kind of just want to flying smash. Yeah. But, oh, let me look here. Yeah, everybody's pretty lousy with cards. Well, except for Haka, but he's got stuff he can do. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna flying smash. Kill all the things. Yeah, I was looking at bolster allies. Um, Thanos get is both, the goat. <laughs> if you get lead from the front and next to the other next evolution, you can basically stop all the damage types from her. I'm getting out of sync. What's going on here? Falling statuary. Flying smash. The poor man's atomic glaze. All right, Fnatic will be able to destroy that captain's orders for us, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, Paris can take this. And then now Paris is going to be the lowest. Actually, no, Hakka's the lowest because of that fawn statuary. Yeah. All right, we definitely have the pictures from Gen Con 2016, so I will find them and I'll have Krista make um, a... Uh, a Facebook album, and then I will make sure to send everybody there next week. All right. I would definitely like Legacy to start protecting everyone. Because <laughs> sure. we're getting really low on hit points. Uh, I'm going to play a Critical Multiplier, and I'm going to again do a Gauge and see what's happening on her deck. I guess I should have played Extrasensory Awareness so well. Uh, Raiding Party. Reveal until three car crew cards are revealed. Well, there are two in the deck there. And I don't want them to get played, so I'm going to put that in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I should have played Extrasensory Awareness so well. That's fine. Should have just going to play something that we don't know what it is. Okay, so I have my Aegis of Resurrection now. Can you destroy Captain's Orders? I can. Yeah, okay. I also have... Well, yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. Um, sure. Bouncers. Let me do this. Yeah, I feel like if we could just get Ooh, her down pound. to fourteen before Hakka's next turn. I feel like throwing her crew at her for the kill yes. is a very satisfactory way to go. All right, so... All right, so tell me again what the idea here was. You want me to try and soak both melee well, and projectile? You need both. You need to play two cards, so you can't. Oh, so, I see, yeah, because I need to you can play front. Leaf in the front, and then you could protect against projectile at least. Which is going to be, we know she's doing projectile for sure, so. Alright, so I can do the projectile here. And then, I guess the question here is, should I hit her for three, or should I hit her for two and heal everybody? It seems like you're voting for the second one, yeah. so that's a good choice. Heal everyone. The environment can hit us, and she can hit us with other types and stuff, so. Especially since Haka's the lowest, I don't want him to get killed. <laughs> the beige bassoonist sounds like a hero from the remake of Mystery Man. It absolutely does. <laughs> the vermilion violist. <laughs> the blue Raja. And if you understand your history, it really does make sense. <laughs> All 
Well, we do appreciate your sacrifice, Dr. Tramata. <laughs> yep. She's vulnerable. Master of Cutlery. I'm not stab and man. I'm not knifey boy. Fine. One damage. That's great. I'm the blue Raja, mother. <laughs> man, I, I live tweeted a rewatch of that a little while back, which was super fun. I should watch that again. I own that movie on HD DVD, and I still have two functional HD DVD players, so nice. I can watch them whenever I want. All right, Haka is going to be ending this. <laughs> Am I correct that you've put your father's skull inside that bowl for bowling? No. The guy at the pro shop did it. <laughs> there you go, Citizen. I have a lot of cards. So many cards! Who wants to play the bottom card of their deck? Why don't you tell me? No, why don't you oh, tell me? Fanatic. Why don't you tell me? One of the few roles I've ever seen Paul Rubens in that's not Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> sure. Final dive! Sorry, Dr. Oh. Tramata. <laughs> Poor Dr. Tramata. <laughs> She's trying to help Jeremy. She is. That was mean. I make non-lethal weapons. Ugh, man, is this is? Do you want me to rewatch Mystery Men tonight? Because this is how you make me rewatch Mystery Men tonight. I guess if I can't go see, uh, what's it called? Black Panther. Black Panther. I guess I can watch <laughs> that tonight. It doesn't matter what you do on your turn. It doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters at all. So, okay, so if nothing matters, what should I do then? Oh my god, my chair, it's a Barca lounger! Thank you. Thank you so much. I played so. a card for you because you were AFK. I know, I was, I was literally browsing through the cards trying to decide what to do, and then one got played for me, so that's fine. Well, you shouldn't have gotten AFK. There you go. Uh, I'm going to do this. Here's your crew back. We just got an email, John. I don't know if you saw it. I have not read it yet. I closed my email when I'm on the stream. All right. I got it on my watch. All right, there and there goes La Capitan. This excites me because I really want to go read this email that just came in. All right, good times. Challenge La Capitan. Taken down. Taken out. In do your thing, do your stuff. All right, cool, cool. So it's only ten minutes before nine, so I don't think we're gonna start a third game. Uh, but I will thank everybody for joining us. This is so, so much fun for us, even when I have to do it from home um, in my theater room with my Barca lounger, <laughs> as it were. Uh, thank you for joining us. Sentinels of the Multiverse is the only cooperative comic book card game that you should be playing. But if you're looking to play a sort of roguelike dungeon crawling RPG, might we suggest another cool game called One Deck Dungeon? OneDeckDigital.com. Go to OneDeckDigital.com and that will send you to the um, Steam page for it. You can add it to your wish list. I'll put a link to it here. Maybe that is coming it out. You shouldn't go right to the Steam page because the Steam page has a link that goes to OneDeckDigital.com. Oh, does it? Well,. For the moment, I, I actually just updated that all today to send it right there because there isn't any... We don't have a direct home for it at OneDeckDigital.com yet. So um, it was re it was sending to the Kickstarter page. Well, I can look at that, look into that tomorrow and see about it. So anyway, 
Um, check out our next game. It's coming out in one week. Next Tuesday, February 27th. Uh, and by coming out, I mean coming out into early access. Rewind and watch the beginning of this stream to find out exactly what that all means if you're not familiar with early access. Uh, but that is our game three that will be coming out pretty soon. Uh, thanks for joining us. We do this every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern. If you enjoyed the show, please do like, share, follow, and subscribe. Sentinels of the Multiverse is available on iOS, Android, as well as Steam, and always in good old analog cardboard and ink from greaterthangames.com. Uh, and you can find more info about the digital game and download the free demo at sentinelsdigital.com. Uh, thank you for joining us. I am Jeremy. Joining me is... I am John from That's Greece. That's John joining us from Greece. The country, you... not the movie. <laughs> He's joining us from Greece, but not Greece too. Uh, are you <laughs> Are you in Greece still next week? I will be, yes. All right. And we will make sure to update you whenever John moves to a new country, because that is what we do. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. We will see you next week. Bye.